Runde nee. Runde Keep Down. Also, wow. Es funktioniert. Es funktioniert. Wonderful. Let's Works. switch to English. <lacht> Hello. Uh, my name is Sven and I am the work is, uh, program coordinator and curator uh, for FilmFest Dresden International Short Film Festival. Welcome to our FilmFest Dresden at home edition. Uh, today we have released our official festival trailer uh, that was created by animation artist Nikita Diakou, who is my guest today for a brief interview. Hello, Nikita. Hi. Hi, Sven. Hi. Hi. Before I start, um, I would like to introduce you in a few words. Uh, Nikita was born in Moscow, raised in Germany, holds a master's degree in animation from the Royal College of Art in London, and now is working as an uh, independent uh, director and producer in Germany. His films, uh, Ugly and Fast, received critical acclaim. Uh, at film festivals around the world and won several prizes. Uh, he was also awarded uh, the DEFA Promotion Prize in Animation and the National Competition of last year's Filmfest Dresden. And by the way, he will be also part of the national jury at the next uh, edition of our festival in September. Um, uh, Nikita, um, you were asked this several times, I guess. Um, your animations are really unique. Um, how would you describe your signature, st signature style? How do you create the character characteristic um, look for your films, of your films? Um, I think, um, well, it was a journey towards that look. It took a while to get there. Um, it was a lot of uh, trying out uh, many different styles. I think coming from the beginning of development of Ugly developed and then after Ugly developed towards Fest and after Fest it's still developing when doing all the uh, little clips and experiments afterwards, also the trailer. I think describing it would probably be um, to try to make it as uh, direct as possible, as true to what it is as, as possible and to uh, kind of not try to make it uh, too beautiful as, as, as it's probably obvious. And um, yeah, not to uh, try to be um, as, as, uh, as cheesy as it sounds to, to be as authentic as possible with, uh, with the approach. And also kind of trying to find many shortcuts to producing things uh, faster and more intuitive, more interactive. Okay, it's, these are kind of interactive uh, animations. Uh, could you um, say a few words about your technique? Yeah, it's um, well, it's all done done in computer, uh, but it's still relying on uh, many things from real life. Many, um, uh, I think, most of the textures always are photographed uh, outside. That's why also the film Fest Dresden was kind of. Uh, um, came alive because of the um, pictures that um, I've been taking in the, in the city. Uh, so I think, yeah, that's, uh, that's one of the things. And uh, yeah, what, what was the other part of the question? Um, well, the, um, the interaction, the interactive uh, part of the... Ah, yeah. Animation. yeah, so uh, yeah, this, the, the thing... Um, develops in the computer and then everything is kind of uh, simulated. So it's about um, kind of giving away control uh, from the animator to the computer because um, as an animator, you are very much in control. You try to control every little tiny detail. And uh, when uh, simulating or also when doing live action shooting, live action films, you are kind of one part of the process and then you give away control to, for example, to other actors, or in my case, to the computer or to, to the simulating process and to kind of algorithms that are um, there also to assist. And it's like a little bit like uh, working on a live action film as well. Where, or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I kind of like about this approach because it's, uh, it's always uh, interesting what's coming out in the end. You never know what, what is the final outcome, which is uh, at the same time it is um, a lot of struggle and a lot of uh, unpredictability. And um, yeah, I cannot really do client work really because of that. Oh. But it's nice uh, <laughs> to work for festival trailers because uh, you are more free to 
to do your your things or let the computer do its thing uh coming back to the to the festival trailer for me it's like uh well it for me it's a, like a like a it's a wonderful piece of art it's um it's a kind of a mini opera um and um f uh, like mini opera based on a fairy tale um, um could you tell us a little bit about your inspiration how did you get inspired uh for this trailer yeah it's it's always difficult when there is no real boundaries to um for the idea i think uh, when um, you approached me it was basically just do whatever you want for the trailer it just has to be less than one minute and um so i think i tried to set boundaries first for example i wanted to um, do the whole thing kind of based on the city of dresden so i came over and then just uh, it was really uh, terrible weather i was uh, going through the rain and through minus degrees and uh, trying to find uh, locations and it was many candidates in the end but i kind of ended up being at this place with a golden horseman which is also the 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 award i was thinking is going to it, it kind of fits and it's also a very super baroque super also a very techy place with um, these three sculptures that you have there uh, one on the left and on one on the right and in the background the the horsemen and they kind of both uh, statues statues are looking at it and kind of giving it a lot of um, uh, pompous uh, feel <laughs> Uh, so I felt that, um, yeah, it could work very nicely with the whole digital stuff because it's two different um, epoch, epochs, do you say epochs? Oh. Um, when uh, yeah, you have Baroque, which is uh, super beautiful, and then you have this kind of ugly texture, uh, digital 3D projections with simulation. I was thinking it's gonna, it will work together quite nicely. Yeah, it did. It does, uh, definitely. Um, are there any major differences between like working on the trailer um, and working on a short film apart from that what you already told <laughs> yeah definitely because the short film um, well they both have a story uh, to tell one is a bit shorter more kind of precise the other one is a bit more broader um, both have to transport a feeling in the end um, but yeah, you can tell much more in a short film in terms of uh, you can develop a story, you can uh, send the viewer on the journey a bit more than in the tra yeah, trailer. Yeah, trailer is an impact, and uh, the film is kind of it's, it's um, gripping you and uh, absorbing you. It's it's kind of the longer you have, the the more difficult and the more kind of more absorbed uh, you can get into the story. Uh, so. I think it's generally with all storytelling is kind of similar. The, the, I'm right now I'm listening to audiobooks a lot, and uh, um, it's um, it's it's like um, or reading a book is the same. When you have a long story that you read, it's it's just different than when you have a short story. Sure. I don't know if it makes sense, but uh, yeah, it, it, this is uh, there's obviously many uh, similarities, but also many differences. Okay. Uh, we would like to uh, keep the interview short. Um, uh, so there's a last question, because um, um, we are already running out of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is your work uh, affected by the coronavirus? Uh, you, you told me yesterday uh, when we had a phone call that you're working on a new, uh, new film. Um, um, or how is your work affected? Do you... Yeah, I think the animators are the most uh, lucky people probably in the process, at least if they have uh, at the moment uh, work that they were already doing. And that's that's in my case, uh, that's my case. So I think, yeah, because we're used to be stuck in a, in a, in a room and not go outside and not uh, do any socializing. So, so uh, I think uh, it doesn't really affect as much as other people, I think. But yeah, obviously, if you have... If you need, um, if you need money to, earn, if you need to earn money, then uh, it would be a, a big problem. But for me, luckily, I have a budget for the next short film. I'm not using any of it right now because I'm just kind of uh, uh, trying to leap, live as cheap as possible. Uh, but um, but yeah, it's 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 not really affecting me much, except that you don't really see your 
family, your friends, your loved ones, and um, that's that's the only thing. But work-wise, I think it's 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 good for for animators, but for live action people, for animators. Good. Thank you very much, Nikita. Um, or there's still a chance from the audience to to send a question. Are there any questions? Do they have to type? Type and but not. Okay. So thank you very much, Nikita. Uh, we we'll meet uh, in real life in uh, in September. Um, thank you. And looking uh, forward. Thank you to all our audience uh, we had for this brief Instagram uh, interview. Um, there's a question about uh, still a question. Uh. Oh, Robert Lebel. Many, many, many. Uh, Hello, Robert. Now, <laughs> there uh, was a question. Yeah, I'm, I'm in a, in a, in this this this. Uh, there's actually lots of doves that are living. There's a big cage of doves. I'm I'm in Leipzig right now. Mm -hmm. I recently moved, just uh, two days ago. I think during the Corona times, I moved about three times already. Um, oh, okay, okay. It's not that easy to move uh, at the corona times um, or the... Okay, uh, and um, Sandra, my colleague Sandra, uh, asked about your jury work. Um, uh, she didn't ask a precise question, but um, no. what, are you, maybe what are you expecting from our ju your jury work? Um, yeah, I'm very, I'm super honored to be in the jury because I, I know it's, uh, it's, a, it's a big responsibility. You have um, amazing prizes for filmmakers and I know how much it can mean to uh, um, short filmmakers. So I'm uh, super excited. I'm super excited to watch the films because as a, as a jury, actually, you, I found that you watch the films much uh, more intensely and it's also nice to discuss it with uh, the other jury members and see their opinions so i think it's it's great it's a really cool experience looking forward to it okay uh there was there's another question can you please elaborate uh on the software you use i use uh, cinema 4d it's a 3d software and um yeah but um, i think you can basically use any software to to do similar things, or well, not any software, but you can use the 3D, so like you can use Blender, Maya, um, Houdini, uh, Unity. I think it's all kind of getting uh, accessible for this kind of stuff. Okay. Um, maybe try it. I hope you won't disappear on my screen now because uh, it seems there's another question. Uh -huh. Uh, oh, uh, can you talk about your collaboration with Jason Peng? Both your works are so good. Ah, Jason Peng, yeah. Um, we managed to, it was actually done, I was collaborating with Max, who is a programmer, Max, uh, Max, Maximilian Schneider, he lives in Berlin. Uh, and we um, kind of tried to develop uh, um, the, our next film with machine learning. And Jason Peng built the foundation, kind of the source code for for the uh, for our approach, and he did it before us. So we didn't really collaborate in the beginning, and we I think we we, we don't really collaborate. We just kind of got in touch with him, and um, he uh, was able to uh, to chat with us for a bit and answer us some questions. But um, yeah, he put his code online for free, and we kind of using it to do all this, uh, the new things that we're kind of trying to uh, find out about. Okay. Is there any last question? Nope, doesn't seem so. So uh, thank you, Nikita, for this interview. You're welcome. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> And um, see you soon. Bye-bye. Yes, thank you, bye. son. Bye.